come on in, welcome. Hi, I'm Summer and welcome to House Curious, which is my home. Um, I'm so excited to have Sheer Lux here and I'm really looking forward to taking you around the house. Um, I am obsessed with interiors. I hope you like what you see. So the kitchen is our favorite place in the house, I guess. We spend so much time here with the family, cooking and entertaining. And the whole idea about this space was to create it so it was big enough to share with other people. So we did loads of cooking workshops around this um, marble island, which are always fun. And there's lots of little design details that you can see, like the beautiful brass handles on our cupboards from Buster and Punt. And I really wanted to try and create a, an industrial vibe, but also very sophisticated as well. Open spaces, as you can see, it's open plan. We've got lots of glass and skylights. So this space was really inspired by my Sydney living. I'm Australian, so I really love open spaces. As you can see, it's open plan. And I've brought lots of nature in with the use of house plants. I love using vases and greenery. It always makes the space feel alive and it's just beautiful. This whole wall is inspired by nature's beauty and about dreaming and letting yourself go. This hanging chair is my favorite thing in the house. I love sitting here at the end of the day with a glass of wine, just looking out into the garden. And on a stormy night, it's just magic. I love plants. They're such a great accessory to have in your home and as I said before they just bring so much life and beauty. If you want to get affordable plants and lots of varieties I would suggest going to the new Covent Garden Market. They have such a good variety of plants there. This room's the family room. It's where we all hang out. These crittle doors are so great. Really industrial style but work really nicely in here. You'll notice that this room is grey and light in tone. Everybody asks me about the colour of the walls in here. It's Manor House grey. To add a bit of interest, we've gone for quite a bold light from Tom Dixon. I love how it reflects the overall room. What's really popular at the moment is Berber style rugs and um, People seem to be crazy about this rug. I'm always getting questions about where can we get one just like this. We actually sell traditional Berber rugs on House Curious. I really love green marble at the moment as well. This console table is from French Connection Home, which I absolutely adore. In this room, I wanted to create more of an adult feel. This is where we have cocktails when we're entertaining, or my husband and I will come and sit and read books and have a drink. Our drinks trolley is from West Elm, which is beautiful. Again, it's got brass and marble. What's really hot right now is actually having all your design books on show. It's almost like a form of art. This sofa is by Designers Guild and we covered it in a teal fabric. As much as I love real plants, there is a place for fake plants. Um, as you can see, that banana tree looks beautiful is a fake tree. This beautiful light is from Lambert and Phil's. Um, I actually bought it online from Canada, but you can now get it in the Conran shop. In this room, I've used loads of books and candles to accessorize tables. It's nice to have different points of lighting as well. When you're thinking about your home, always try and add a personal touch to a room. This black chair is from Jimmy Martin. I absolutely love it. And we got them to write my husband and my favorite lyrics from our song. This is our guest room. It's not quite finished, but I'll give you a little peek. I love this light, which I got from Bodie and Foe. The brass bed from made.com. And what is super cool about this room is I've used a chic divide the bathroom and bedroom. It looks chic, it's cost effective, and it gives you a hotel vibe. Who doesn't love a neon light? We had ours bespokely made and it was inspired by a movie called Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Buy the ticket, take the ride. We had a lot of fun with the basement. We've taken so much inspiration from commercial properties, bars, restaurants, hotels. We've mixed vintage with contemporary furniture. Creating little nooks in your house is a great way to add character. 
a nice chair, interesting ornaments. Make sure you add rugs and cushions to give that cozy feel. This is our cinema room where we come and escape the world, sit and watch long movies. This sofa is from Camerich and we've used our own fabric from Designers Guild. Cinema rooms should just all be about comfort. We had a bit of fun with this bathroom and it's very tongue in cheek, it's called the powder room. But we've changed it up a little bit and created a different pattern just for a more modern and different look. We've used copper pipes to create our taps for a very eclectic look. Your plumber should be able to create this for you. Welcome to the Scotch and Ted bar. Yes, we have a home bar. It is a little bit over the top, but I love it. We do a lot of cocktail making courses down here, wine tasting, cheese night. We've used vintage light. I've brought a lot of greenery in and we've had these bespoke planter boxes made. I wanted this bar to feel like a, a commercial bar. What you want to avoid when you're creating a bar at home is you don't want it to look naff. With that in mind, I've pulled in cues from bars and clubs. We've got all our bottles on display up on our um, custom made shelving, which I think looks super cool. We've gone for a real industrial vibe in this room. So you'll notice a concrete floor, which is beautiful with underfloor heating. If you're wanting to add a little bit of authenticity to your room, have things made. So come on into my bedroom. I wanted this room just to feel really peaceful and tranquil. It's, oh, there's so many things I love about this room. These pendant lights we sell at House Curious. Oh, I love this gold chair. It looks super cool, isn't that comfortable. But as long as it looks good, who cares? The bed linen is by Mercy Paris. We've got no door between the bathroom and the bedroom. It's peaceful. I love sitting here in the bath and just looking out at the trees. We created this large window, a box window, so we could just sit and read and just daydream away. All about luxury in this bathroom. You can always tell a good bathroom by the soap they use. I'm really excited about this room because I guess I never thought I'd have anything like this that's so pretty. We've gone for open wardrobes, which is a little bit risky. Of course, I had to have a Hollywood mirror, which is a real beauty. The dressing table was made bespoke, as was this perfume cabinet. Um, I took lots of inspiration from those vintage medicine cabinets. Marble, of course, we've got some marble, which plays a big feature in my house. That's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed that. Please come and see us again soon.